What's going on, everybody? So if you just bought yourself one of these and you're trying to figure out how to set it up in FL Studio so that each of these pads play different sounds and you're surfing around on YouTube and you keep coming across this same gentleman that wants you to buy his $15, $30 packs, I'm here to save the day. I'm here to tell you that you don't need junk that looks like this and you don't need to spend money or give this gentleman your money for his stupid packs. You have it all right there in front of you and it just takes five minutes. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do so you're going to plug this thing in with the USB cord it came with, a printer cable, and Windows will recognize the device. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to close any other software that you might have open that's trying to use this MIDI. So if you installed this software from Akai or from In Music or whoever the hell bought them out, we're going to close that and we're going to restart FL Studio. New from template, minimal, empty. We'll go ahead and we'll load a plug in. And so let's say FL keys. So now, when we press on the MIDI, we can see that the piano keys are controlling our plugin, as long as it's highlighted here in the channel rack. That's good news, you're on the right track. Um, but these pads here, they don't seem to be lined up to any specific notes, they seem to sort of arbitrarily play. Um, so let's go to options, let's go to MIDI settings. Let's make sure our MPK mini is popping up here, both in the output and the input. We're going to make sure send master sync is checked on port 0. Input is enabled on port 0 as well and we have our Omni Preview MIDI channel set to 16. We're going to make sure this little green power button is here. Synchronization type is MIDI clock and controller type is generic controller. Then I didn't touch any of the stuff down here but if down here looks different on your screen go ahead and adjust it to look like mine and we're going to close that out. Now we're going to open up an instance of FPC. FPC is FL Studio's store, sort of stock plugin for drum pads like this one. And we're going to go over here to this presets button and we're going to hit empty. Now we're going to hit this drop down here. We're going to go to map notes for entire bank. And now when we hit map notes for entire bank, we're going to start with this bottom left pad and go left to right on the bottom row and then go up to the top row left to right. So we're going to press each pad once so that it lights up in that order. One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to switch banks here directly on our MIDI. Go to the green bank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now at this point, we're ready to drag in some sounds. So let's go to our sounds. Let's find, say, a hi-hat. Throw that in the bottom right. Let's find a kick. Throw that in the bottom left. And we'll find a clap. Throw that top right. Now let's, uh, right now we're on the top eight. So we're gonna go down to the bottom eight. We're gonna hit our bank button on our MIDI. And if anyone's interested in a more in-depth tutorial, such as how to link these knobs to different controls, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Video's coming soon.